Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you will accompany me for a visit to Cricketh Castle on the west coast of Wales. Uh, this actually occurred last year, but I'm just finally getting around to editing some of these videos. So let's get stuck in. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you're new here, I'm Elton, a 50 something year old, undertaking a long-term photography project in my 1996 Heimer. So you can expect to see travel photography, photography and video from historical sites that I visit, landscape and nature photography, wildlife and animal photography from around my travels, and also video tutorials, camera gear reviews, um, and hints and tips of van life and long-term travel. So please do join me and hit that subscribe button. So as mentioned, this video and my visit to Cricket Castle actually took place in, I believe, April of 2022. Um, so it's taken me just over a year to actually get down and edit this stuff. So yeah, I'm very efficient, aren't I? Um, so yeah, it wasn't long after actually purchasing the motorcycle that I'm using to get around. And it was actually on my return from Port Merion, which I'll link to above, um, that I popped into and visited Cricket Castle. I'm pretty sure I'm misspelling it, so to all the Welsh out there, I do apologise. Feel free to let me know how it's actually pronounced. Nestled on the picturesque coast of North Wales, Cricket Castle stands as a testament to the region's rich history. Today we embark on a journey through time exploring the tales and architecture of this iconic fortress. Built in the early 13th century by Llewellyn the Great, one of the most powerful Welsh princes, Cricket Castle was a symbol of his reign and dominance over the region. So it was about this point that I was breathing heavily through my pupil um, and as you can see other people were also taking a break from the uh, ascent, descent, ascent uh, to the top of the hill here which as you can see provides some spectacular views. Llewellyn's vision was to create a stronghold that not only served as a defensive fortress but also as a statement of power and authority. The castle's unique design, particularly its twin-towered gatehouse, was revolutionary for its time. It showcased the influence of English architecture on Welsh fortifications. Cricket's castle is a history is one of conflict and change. In 1283, after a fierce siege, it was captured by Edward I of England 
Under English rule, the castle underwent significant modifications, further strengthening its defences. But the sea, which provided a natural defence, also played a role in the castle's eventual downfall. In 1404, Welsh leader Owain Glyndwr, yeah, okay, captured and set fire to the castle, and was it was never rebuilt. Today, what remains of Frickith Castle offers a glimpse into a bygone era. Its ruins tell stories of power struggles, architectural innovations, and the in the medible spirit of the Welsh people. I'll try and get a bit more, less monotone in my voice, shall I? Visitors from around the world come to Cricket to w walk its ancient walls, soak in the panoramic views of the sea and the town below, and immerse themselves in the captivating history. Cricket Castle, a beacon of Welsh heritage, stands as a reminder of the region's tumultuous past and the enduring legacy of its people. A visit here is not just a tour of a historic site, but a journey through time. And with that, I shall leave you with some chilling background music and enjoy the scenery from Cricket Castle. Cheers folks, see you next time.